Hello, brothers and sisters in Christ. Uh, this is one of the uh, warnings that I found in my email. I talked about earlier when I did a video from the book of Daniel. And I thought it was worth mentioning because this flesh-eating bacteria is no joke. And people probably have heard that it's in the water down in... Um, I believe we heard it was in Houston in that water, in that flooded water coming in from the ocean. And down in the Gulf. And it's... Um, I mean... I don't even see how it lives in salt water. But anyway, this, I'm going to go ahead and click on this, is to take me to the link. Um, it's Fox 4KC. Okay, come on, computer. You're supposed to be so fast now. All right, the title of it is Woman, excuse me, Woman Says... She contracted, no thank you, flesh-eating bacteria from nail salon visit. A nail salon. All right, now there is a little video here you can watch. She shows she now packs up all her own supplies to take with her to have her nails done. I guess that must be... A fun thing to do to have people do your nails. I never could get it. People tell me they're $25 and up just to have somebody do your nails. I just like, good grief. Anyway, it says, I'll read some of this. It's in Knoxville, Tennessee, y'all. Knoxville, Tennessee. That's nowhere near the Gulf waters. A Tennessee woman says a small nick at a local nail salon was all it took for flesh-eating bacteria to start destroying her thumb. Jane Sharp has since had multiple surgeries to treat the necrotizing fasciitis. That's caused, caused by flesh-eating bacteria. That's what it causes necrotizing, necro is death, fasciitis, itis is infection of the fascia, the flesh, your skin and what's under it. Okay, so she's had multiple surgeries to treat this, lost feeling in the digit, that's, you know, your fingers are digits, and experiences tingling in her other fingers, she told W-A-T-E. I was totally shocked that you could walk into a nail salon and have this happen to you, she said. Sharp's nightmare began in February when she went to get her nails done at the Jazzy Nail Bar in Knoxville. She knew something was wrong when two hours after leaving the salon, that's how quickly this sets in, two hours after leaving the salon, Sharp says she developed flu-like symptoms and her thumb began to ache. She went to the hospital where she was given medicine for the pain and a nurse told her to monitor the symptoms and stay in touch. Sharp said she credits the nurse for potentially saving mm -hmm. her life by waking her up to mm -hmm. check on her condition during the night. That nurse had a feeling. She knew it, she knew it could be that, I guess, mm -hmm. because you don't usually get a call from the ER once you're discharged. Unless the test result comes in. And, you know, it's something that, oh my goodness, we let her go home. And that happens. The doctor said if it hadn't, if I hadn't gotten to the emergency room when I did, that I wouldn't be here, Sharp said. Several surgeries later, Sharp is missing part of her thumb, but is grateful to be alive. Jazzy Nails did not return a request for comment. Now, that that's just wrong. You know, 
I get it that these little accidents can happen. You know, they're using kind of sharp things to cut your nails and they poke around, get the cuticles off, you know. Um, someone evidently came in there, just had to have just returned from a vacation where there was flushing bacteria in the water. That's the, what I think. And probably, I can't imagine, though, traveling that far. Y'all, is this just a plague? One of the end days plagues that's been put upon us? Has it been spread, dare I say it, by the government? This is a killer. If people aren't on their toe, if this woman had not gone to the emergency room and she thought, oh, man, I just caught the flu and you know, didn't relate it to the nick in her finger. I mean, who would? I wouldn't. I would never, unless it was uh, obviously like, you know, blowing up or something with pain and throbbing and red and all that. Anyway, that's the end of the article. But um, I want to, I'm going to uh, get a picture where she shows her two thumbs like this. One of them's half the size of the other. And you can click on the link and watch the little video on this if you'd like to. And it's from fox4kc.com news. Okay, well, I'll end it at that. And I do think this is something you need to be realizing. It isn't just for people going to the beach or, you know, getting into some nasty water. If you get... A nick or a cut in any public place, even like at a grocery store, say there's a display rack and it has a sharp edge and you brush by it and just nick your arm. What if the person having that might have that nick their arm or brushed by it? Just who knows? I don't know how long it stays alive on a surface. They're supposed to sanitize all those things they use on your fingers. You're supposed to stick them in that antibacterial sanitizing solution. You don't just use them, rinse them under water. But maybe they work. Save money. You say that, anyway, I won't say it. But uh, that's, it could have killed her. She was bright, smart to go to the ER. I probably wouldn't have, though. I probably would have just gone home went to bed with thinking I had the flu. Again, depending on how my thumb felt, that's the ticket. So, uh, I'll end this here and leave the link for those of you who want to see the video. So, um, I'll plead the blood of Jesus over this. This could be one of them end, end days plagues. I plead the blood over this and the internet connection over my computer and each and every one of your devices as well and all of our internet connections so we can stay connected until we're out of here and it could be soon I mean I I don't know if you all have seen the let me turn around here can you still see me alright I guess so I do have the lights on back there so it's not so dark um Supposedly, warnings are out for November the 3rd. Some kind of attack in Seattle. I just watched a video. Um, well, I guess I should do a separate video on a uh, separate. Yeah, I'll end this year and do a separate one. So I'll be back in a minute. Bye for now. Talk to you soon.